Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah to the Most High God. Father, I thank you for this word this morning. Lord, I praise you and I thank you and I ask you, Lord, to anoint it to the penetrating of our hearts, Lord, that we would be obedient to your word and remember your great loving kindness. Hallelujah. Crush the devil, Father, and put him under our feet in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, in verse 17, it's, let me read it to you this morning, because yesterday on the broadcast I was talking about, the Lord was reminding us that we have to love our enemies. And one way we love our enemies is to speak the truth to them. Speak the truth to our enemies because the truth is going to set them free if they receive the truth. It says here in verse 17 of Isaiah 54, it says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So, we can see here that there are weapons that are formed against us as believers, but they're not going to prosper, okay? See, the enemy, he uses people that are not walking the crucified life. They're walking a religious life today in the church. He'll use these people to put us in confusion or try to put us in confusion and to say all manner of evil against us falsely. They become the enemies of Christ, okay? And we have this right, this privilege from God to condemn that tongue, okay? Not the person, but the tongue. Because, see, we want the person to be redeemed. Amen? We want them to be set free. So we condemn these tongues that are speaking all manner of falsity. And we do it by the word of truth. By the holy word of God. By the truth and the righteousness which is Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Doesn't prosper. Hallelujah. And every tongue, that's what it says, that shall rise against thee in judgment. See, they're judging us. They tell us, you can't judge, you can't judge. But they're judging us, saying we can't judge. When Jesus said, make a right judgment. Hallelujah. And the Bible is replete and says all the time that God loves judgment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage. This is our inheritance. Hallelujah. Of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Now, in James chapter 1. Hallelujah. It says here, verse 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear. Swift to hear. Hallelujah. Slow to speak. Slow to wrath. Slow to speak. Slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. The wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Now, in James chapter, I believe it's chapter 3 here. He's talking about the tongue, okay? See, we, we condemn the tongue. We don't condemn the person because the Lord can redeem that person. They might not be redeemed right in front of you, but when you speak the truth to people, it's planting a seed in them. And at night when they go home, they're going to remember that truth because the truth cannot be forgotten. Hallelujah. You see, it's not going to be forgotten going to go right in and also when you're talking to people you know you're going to be talking to people pray that their there's the soil of their heart will be upturned by the holy spirit ready to receive the seed hallelujah that god's going to speak through your mouth through our mouth to people amen 
Because see, the, the tongue, listen to what it says here in James 3. He's talking about these ships and how they're turned by a very small rudder. Big old ship, you know. You have these ships today, you know, they're a thousand feet long, but they have a small rudder. It turns that ship one way or the other. And James is likening the tongue to the ship, you know, to the little rudder on the ship. Behold, also the ships, which though they be so great and are driven of fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small helm, whithersoever the governor listeth. Even so the tongue is a little member and boasteth great things. Behold, how great a manner a little fire kindleth and the tongue is a fire we gotta remember this this is one part of our of the old nature of man the tongue that's very easily can uh just fall into a way that jesus is not pleased with okay so let us be slow to speak listen and the tongue is a fire and a world a world of iniquity so is the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire the course of nature. And it, the tongue, it is set on fire of hell. That's why he said in chapter 1 verse 19, be slow to speak. Because our tongue can get us into trouble. Hallelujah. And also we got to remember... That we just don't never say anything because we don't want our tr tongue to get us into trouble. No, we walk by faith. We know the Holy Spirit within us. When he's speaking to us, he says, you speak this word. He'll just come upon you. You know you got to say that to that person. Hallelujah. we got to remember this. God's given me this word this morning for my own walk and also for all of our walks. Hallelujah. Praise God. For every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents... And the things in the sea is tamed and hath been tamed of mankind. But the tongue can no man tame. It is, it is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing, and cursing, my brethren, these things ought not so to be. Doth the fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? These things ought, ought not to be. The Holy Spirit speaking through James. He's reminding us today to be slow to speak. Slow to wrath. And speak what he tells us to speak. And if there are people being used by the devil and there are in this Christianity today in religion coming against you today coming against us today we condemn those tongues in the name of Jesus we do it by the love the mercy the grace the righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ and his finished work on the cross and his resurrection from the dead hallelujah and we stand in the fullness of God hallelujah being filled with all the fullness of God. We stand as his ambassadors today. And we speak what he tells us to speak. In the truth and in the love that he is. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Father seal this word to our hearts. In Jesus name. Amen.